All right. Hi, uh, my name is Justin, and today I'll be walking you through the Acer paper, specifically questions one to four. Um, if you haven't read the question yet, I'd suggest pausing the video and having a look at this stem before um, looking at this video. All right. So now that you've read the stem, um, we can start uh, working out basically what's going on here. So in general, uh, we have these 10 embryos. The last line of the uh, stem tells us that uh, embryo 9 is a 1M embryo, 7 is a 2M embryo, 4 is a 2F, and embryo 2 is a 1F. This uh, notation basically means that, say for example, for a 1M, fe uh, 1M embryo, we have a female next to one male. So from that information, we can start filling out the genders of each of these embryos. Um, it's sort of like a Sudoku quiz in that way. So um, we have, for example, our seven, our number seven embryo is a 2M embryo. So that means that it's next to two males. So that means that um, embryo six and embryo eight must be males. Similarly for 2F, uh, uh, sorry, four is a 2F. So we get five as a female and three as a female. And because nine um, is next to, is a 1M um, embryo, meaning that it is only next to one male, 10 must be a female, and similarly, um, one must be male. In general, a 2M female um, is going to be more masculinized than a 1M female. So masculinized and feminized, they're basically the secondary sexual characteristics, where the primary sexual characteristic is its actual gender. All right, so question one. Um, of the following, the information presented suggests most strongly that in mice, differential development of secondary sexual char characteristics in members of the same sex are a result of a difference in um, A, uterine temperature, B, location of the embryo with respect to the ovary, C, levels of maternally produced hormones reaching the embryos, and D, level of embryo produced hormones reaching adjacent embryos. All right. Um, so answer A, uterine temperature. Um, there's no mention of that in the stem, so we can immediately rule that out. Um, uh, B is, again, not really mentioned in the stem, um, uh, so we can sort of rule that out. It's not really a strong answer. Um, C, levels of maternally produced hormones re reaching the embryos. Or, um, again, not really indicated through the diagram or through the stem. Um, and D is the correct answer, levels of embryo produced hormones reaching adjacent embryos. Um, so basically, we can kind of tell because we know that 2M um, females are going to be more masculinized than um, 1M females. So if you're next to a male, you're going to be basically more masculine. Um, and therefore, we can say that the secondary sexual characteristics are largely determined by the uh, embryo-produced hormones reaching an adjacent embryo. All right, um, so moving on to question two. Um, of embryos one, two, three, or four, or five, how many are male? So um, now that we've kind of created this, this diagram, we can just count them, basically. Um, we've just got to remember that um, a 1M uh, mouse is a female. So um, uh, in this instance, we have uh, one male there, that's also a male, and that's also a male. So we have in total one, two, and four are males, so we have three males in total for the uh, embryos one to five. So uh, in that case, A is the correct answer. Um, all right, of the following embryos, which one will develop the most feminine features? Um, so this is, uh, again, uh, a bit of a tricky question. So, uh, embryo, so we have embryos two, uh, four, uh, 9 and 10. All right, so 2 is a male, um, as is 4, so they're going to not really have that feminine feature, I guess. Um, I, I guess to an extent, uh, 4 is more feminine than 2 because it's 2F versus 1F, but um, 9 and 10, they're both females. Um, now, what's the difference between the two? So, um, 10 is a uh, is a mouse that is a zero uh, zero M female. The last uh, nine is a one M female. So zero zero M females are going to be more feminine than uh, one M females. So therefore, ten is going to be the most feminine of females. Um, all right, and four uh, in mice, the primary sexual characteristics of an indiv individual are determined by. Um, so the primary sexual characteristics are the actual gender of the mice versus um, the secondary, which is how masculinized or feminized their features appear. So um, 
the primary sexual characteristics are going to be determined by the genotype, basically, yeah, your uh, sex chromosomes.